why they put a compression release on this thing. Two stroke. Keefe, what in the world are you doing here today? I'm building a tree stand. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Slash uh, dual holder. But so we can put us a box on top and have mm -hmm. some nice little deer stand. Yeah, that well, we've got plenty of room. We've got a good substructure here, whatever oh, you want to call yeah. it. So You could make one heck of a duck blind out of it. Absolutely. But yeah, we'll be able to something to hold our duels instead yep. of laying them on the ground on our side. That way they won't collect water. Hopefully not dry rod as bad. And maybe pretty soon we're going to paint them all. That'd be nice. That'll look brand new. And it ain't no sense in painting them if you're going to throw them right back out there on the ground. Yep. So we'll be able to come in here. Each one of these slots will be two duels. Mm-hmm. Standing upright. Standing up. And we'll be able to take our... Um, Whatever you call changer, that thing, yeah. Our, our bad boy dual changer. Swing it up, like swing it up here on the edge of the tire. Do it like this. Take the tire straight up or back out with it, whatever you mm -hmm. want to do. It worked pretty good. So we've got uh, four main tractors that we use, two 8430s, one 8330, and one 8220. They all have duels, so that's a total of eight duels, plus the 8430, one of them, has front duels. So all in all, we have 10 tires that usually all year long, when they're not on the tractors, are just resting on a, an oak tree or the side of a fuel tank, leaned over, and then it rains, the water stays on the rim, and then every single rim we have it just has a massive rust stain on it. So this would be much easier. What you got? Echo. Please sponsor me. Not yes. Jim. Not Jim. Keefe. Keefe. Not me. Echo. How much you get for that thing? You don't even want to know. Yeah? But I do get I do get uh, fifteen percent off all Echo purchases. Also, switching your insurance to Geico. Yeah, but I, I'm serious. Off. I really do. <laughs> How? I, I am a uh, Echo Tier Two. Okay, I thought you were gonna say it was your senior citizen discount. No, I'm, yeah, they have like different tiers depending on what equipment you own. Okay. Like Tier One, Tier yeah. Two, Tier Three, and um, Tier Two. Yeah, I think you get fifteen percent off. Okay, well, all right. If anybody from Echo is watching this, please sponsor Keefe. Yes. Well, I tell you what, there's some bad boys. I've seen augers twice this size on cut like this thing. We've got compression release. Nice. Nice little compression release button in this little girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, so we got all the posts set. We might set two more for the front duels. Keefe's upset because I just spilled two ounces of Coke that he had left. Pepsi, sorry. Man, it's Florida, dude. You're supposed to stay liquidated. Yeah. Or what do you call it? Hydrated. Hydrated. Or liquidated, either one. Yeah. Hey, I thought you said you were the Echo Man. Why? What's up with this? Don't show that to Echo. What's up with this? Don't show that to Echo. I'll blur it. We'll show that there. I'll blur it. I'm a, I'm a new Echo thing. Okay. You want to know why? Why? Because y'all have an Echo chainsaw in the shop. We do. I've run s for years. Mm-hmm. The Echo's bad. Cranks every time. More power. Cuts like a dream. More power. Yeah. Lighter. So, now granted, that's a good little saw. Expensive little booger. But it's not good for, like, cutting firewood because it's it don't have the handles like this. Right. Know? Perfect for little limbs and stuff. Perfect, yeah, that's what I bought it for. Trimming limbs at camp. Can I show it, or do you think that's going to hinder your Echo it's sponsorship? It's probably going to hinder my Echo uh, sponsorship, all right. well, but now I'll still, just... hey, still, still, still an option. I love me a okay, steel. Okay, all right, well, if... Hey, any... I, I love me a steel, too. Say that again while it's in the shot. <laughs> Better yet, yeah, just hold it. Action. What's that? Just 
I mean, it goes good, but mm -hmm. now steel's still an option. You know, steel like is still like an option. Steel too. Okay. All right. So if anybody from steel is watching this video, email Keefe and for a sponsorship. Beagle Man 113. Anybody from Echo or Steel? Echo don't make a drill. Uh, what you talking about? <laughs> Got a craftsman there. Oh yeah. Well about that. Well, cobalt never come through for us. So hey, I'm not, I'm loyal to only who's loyal to me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm the main foreman. Right. Just like I planned. Coming together perfect. Oh, man, you don't want to put that on YouTube, do you? Yeah, man. It's Everybody's gonna say, man, don't it. don't freaking pack coals with your handles. That's how I've always packed them. At sixty dollars and something change for a pair of hole diggers now. I wouldn't advise packing with your handles on your hole diggers. Get the most use of it as you can. Because I pri I priced some. Yeah. The other day. I about passed out. I was just gonna buy me an old cheap pair of hole diggers. Yeah. Uh, for cleaning out the holes I'm building on the fence at the house. Mm-hmm. Sixty something dollars. Jeez. I was like, Daddy, you got a pair of hole diggers in the barn? All right. We got an old pair in the barn somewhere. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> he said, yeah, but uh, I'll need them back by uh, Monday morning. I was on the way to work Monday. I was like, oh. All right. I had to go back and get them and drop them off. Oh, the Lord. Gotta love that craftsman. Man, that's a bad. You want boy. me to hold the board for you? No. No, you sure? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, let's walk over here. I'll show you guys what we have got so far. We're kind of just winging this as we go. Keefe had a roughed uh, concept, you would call it. Mm -hmm. And we started thinking, well, if we build us a little uh, floor, so, so to speak, our tires will be off the ground and uh, be a lot easier to get. So that's what we're working on now. Mm -hmm. But we had crooked posts. But yeah, we do have crooked posts. The top is straight. Yep. But this post has got a almost a three inch bow right square dab in the middle. Yep, so that's why we cut that. So what we're gonna have to do, we ain't got no screws. Our screws are how long? Four? Four inches. You gonna, we're gonna have to screw that one, that one to that and then that to that yep no we gotta do it this way and our board's in the way that's all right toe nail it right that noise i keep hearing i just got some pivot yeah it's the damn drive shaft on there battery Keefe's Craftsman let us down, dead battery, so I'm headed to the barn now to grab a cobalt. Well, as I'm walking, I guess I could talk to you guys. Hope everybody's having a great day. Please comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, if somebody's watching from Alaska, I'll send you a shirt. Actually, no, I won't, because now people would just say they're watching from Alaska. So then I had to get you to like show your ID and all that. We're not doing all that. Just, just comment where you're watching from. Unfortunately, the Field Rose Facebook page was hacked last week. That sucks. It's, uh, it's completely gone. So if you go to facebook.com slash Field Rose, nothing there. Um, been trying to get it back. Talked to maybe two or three people on Facebook. So fingers crossed by the time this video comes out, hopefully the Facebook page will be back. But for right now, it's hacked. I don't even have access to it. So such a bummer. Sucks. What well, doesn't suck is our Thunder Creek fuel trailer, 750 gallons. It's awesome. All right, here we are in the barn. It's one of Dad's hot rods, Roadrunner. Got our 4230, getting the tire fixed on it. Cotton planters in here. Why isn't the lights coming on? Let's see, I need this one. All right, we are back in business. You guys check out this Roadrunner real quick. That's all I'm gonna show you. Oh, gotta hold on to that thing. Mm -hmm. Looking good, looking real good. So that should be about right. Your tire will be sitting in there. So you'll be able to, the tire won't be up against the side mm -hmm. too bad. Well, no, it will too, but you can spread your things out put them in right here yeah 
and then that'll go to the middle. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kippy. All right, guys, it's been a couple days since we've uh, completed the dual changing station. We got like four inches of rain, but now the sun is out. It's a beautiful day. We are getting all the planters ready to roll. The peanut planter is 100% ready to go. Brittany from uh, Vantage Southeast came. We got the precision planting monitors, talking with the Trimble monitor. Everything's good to go there. We've got a uh, Keefe's planter here, 12 row cotton planter, all that's dialed. We got just a little bit to finish uh, plumbing up some hoses so we can spray out the back. But yeah, for the most part, everything is completely ready to roll. And plan is to start planting peanuts April 15th. The weather's still a little cool in the morning, but for the most part, it's uh yeah it's right here at go time and here it is this is pretty much the finished product so we got a slot here this is where the 8430 duels will go one tire here one tire there other 8430 8330 8220 so that is it thanks for watching this is the end of the video i'm trying not to step in mud but yeah thanks for watching until the end jesus loves you keep it in the field rows see ya bye Bye. Focus.com